Hey guys, today on Dave's Nano Tanks, we're gonna kill some Aptasia. The glass anemones. See it right there next to my uh, rose bubble tip anemone. I'm gonna blast it with a laser. I'm gonna tell you all about the laser, where I got it, what I think of it, and uh, stay tuned. Okay, I picked this one up on Amazon. Um, there were a couple of different options. I went for the cheapest of $56.99 with free shipping. It's a 5 watt and it's 445 nanometers. Um, there were a couple other options. This one has the built-in battery, USB charging, but you only get the unit. Now for $30 more you'll see that you can get a case and the goggles. I picked up the goggles for about $9. Um, these do ship from China, I believe, so it does take a while to get to you. Um, if you'd like the case and the goggles all in one, then you could opt for the um, spending $30 more, but I didn't see the need for it personally. So what comes in the kit? Well, this is the kit. There is a better kit that comes with a case and glasses. Um, there are also other kits where they have removable batteries. But this particular item comes with what you see here. This little shipping cap. It's just a plastic cover. Um, this filter and four other filters. And they, what the filters do is... Let's take this off. Um, you've got your port for charging. You've got your output port. I'll go over that in a minute. But um, basically there's one button controls the whole thing and that's got one of the fancy filters on it now for safety reasons I think it's a good idea to keep the filter on um, not saying that it won't start a fire with the filter on here it's not burning me as I get closer it starts to burn me okay you can feel that it will burn something so but without that filter it would burn something further away so to me it's just a little extra safety precaution so it stays on until you hit the button hit the button it turns back off now the reason why there's two ports when you're charging the unit you use the small end of the cord in the small plug all right and this goes into a usb either on your computer or whatever you use for your phone uh, you, you guys know them but the other cool thing they give you the large usb here it can be used as a power supply to charge your phone. So you plug that in there, you plug that in your phone, and you can utilize the power that's in here to charge your battery on some other device. So that's cool too. All right, so I keep talking about safety because this is not a toy. Although it looks like a lightsaber, Um, make sure children don't play with it. When I bought it, I thought it came with glasses. Um, the laser eye protection. Just because one of the comments said the glasses came broken. But one of the comments was probably meant for the kit that does come with glasses. This one did not. So when I bought it, I immediately turned it on to play with it. And I found that my eyes, it was, it was uncomfortable. More than uncomfortable. So, what did, what did I do? I did what anybody would have done. I went and got some sunglasses. All right, so here it is on. You'll notice it goes right through the sunglasses and it's starting to burn my table. Well, said, well let's see, we're blocking a blue shade of light. Let me get my coral glasses. They block out the blues. Right through. Okay and still uncomfortable to the eye. So I ordered a pair of glasses. So it came in this neat little case. They are adjustable glasses. The thing you need to know about glasses for lasers, depending on what kind what color the laser is, demotes what kind of what color the glasses are. So blue laser, red eyeglasses. 
and watch see it completely kills it it doesn't go through it does reflect it to other areas in my room but it does not go through to your eye so there's the importance right there so some of the questions are can it light a match can it burn paper yes right now it's burning the match stick and there it lights the match can it burn wood so there's a piece on the front where the filters screw in the actual optical lens that comes with it that you can adjust you just by turning it so you see that it does definitely burn wood and then I just went out my bedroom window and I was shining the light around and you can see at night you can see a perfect blue line which I thought was pretty cool and up there that lit area is a traffic light and it's uh, good oh I'm not good with distance two football fields maybe away from my window and I was hitting that light you can't tell on the um, video but it was definitely showing up on that light so yes very good at far away distances and one more word of caution um, as you can see here that it does refract off the glass um, aiming the laser into the tank but the light is refracting off the glass and it's actually hot enough to burn my workbench you can see the smoke coming off but yes almost seven minutes into the video let's kill this damn Aptasia already um, you see it takes me a minute to get the light focused by the um, the lens ring at the end but as soon as I do and you pretty much know you got it because it really narrows the beam and you start to hear crackling and you know you're doing something it immediately retracts at that point so I just kind of stayed in that area concentrated in that area until uh, I felt it was gone it's difficult to see with those red glasses on so I didn't I wish I could see it through the video but I still felt it was unsafe so then I thought I'd take a whack at a piece of bubble algae even though it's probably not the best thing to pop bubble algae in the tank but you know I wanted to push the limits of this thing see what it could do but um, again very hard to see the piece of bubble algae but I did work around the area I did hear a lot of crackling but at the end um, there was still a piece of bubble algae there now distance didn't seem to be an issue because you could focus the beam um, this was this one seemed to be more powerful than the one that Mile High Reefer was using and Inappropriate Reefer was using it seemed more powerful more like the one that Melov's Reef was showing in his videos except for his had removable batteries um, the best thing I could think about with the removable batteries is once the batteries die you could then reload it with some new batteries and keep working although I'm not sure that's a great thing to do with a laser beam and yes I'm gonna zap some green star polyps those two polyps on the top see if we can uh, pest control with this laser beam and uh, again it takes me a while to focus it in and they don't look very happy I see something kind of spewing out of one of the top ones there um, yes the little uh, tank over here has a variety of things that need to be killed um, but I'm not sure it did anything to the hair algae and it did make the clownfish kind of nervous I saw that they were hiding in their anemones like I don't know if they were worried about it or they were just protecting their anemones so looking for something else to zap nah I'm just kidding fishy snowman would hate me if I just killed Zoes but that's the kind of anemone we want not Aptasia that's a nice anemone so and I don't mean to beat a dead horse about safety but if it's bad for our eyes you know it's probably bad for the fish's eyes too and they can't wear safety goggles and uh, I got a little clip here of the Bergias that I got for the main display from Sabella fella and um, it was gonna be a video but to be honest after this 
few little clips here of dropping them in. I've never seen them again. But, on a good note, when I did get this new laser, I looked through the tank looking for some Aptasia to kill and found I couldn't find any. So they may be alive and well in the tank, but I couldn't tell you, to be honest. But um, if you've stayed this long, um, you're one of my true subscribers. And uh, I'd like to talk about supporting the channel. And this is something you can do that costs you no money. I will leave links to everything I've talked about, like I usually do. And those links are my Amazon links. It's like an affiliate program. So what it means to you is when you go into Amazon, there's no price increase on anything. It's all the same prices you would pay any time you went into Amazon. But by going in on one of my links, um, I may be able to make pennies on the $10. You know, uh, if you spend $10, I get pennies. But that's all. Um, that and watching the channel is uh, very much appreciated. So uh, I'll leave you with my fox face tearing up some chato that I sink in there every once in a while. And uh, he thinks it's his. He does not like the yellow tank to have any. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, check you on the next one. <laughs>